Hey folks, Randy Go, Trout Maker Man here with you. We're going to talk a little bit about JDM fishing reels today. Uh, when I started this channel, part of the uh, description I gave was talking about fishing with JDM tackle. I was going to uh, do some videos where you can get the tackle if you were interested in it, tell you a little bit about the tackle, what it's like. Uh, I had such good response on the rods video, uh, I said I need to start into reels. Uh, quite a few people um, that watched that video decided they wanted to buy a JDM fishing rod and have done so and uh, I was happy, happy to uh, help them out, uh, navigate those waters. But today we're going to talk about the best bang for the buck on a JDM made in Japan reel. There's a lot of JDM reels, uh, no doubt about that. Uh, not all of them are made in Japan, and the only ones I'm interested in are the ones made in Japan. Uh, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. And we're going to be talking about a Daiwa Luvius 2004 model that, in my opinion, happens to be the best reel you can get for the money. You can get better reels. You can get a Daiwa Certate uh, for a hundred and something dollars more than this. You can get a Daiwa Exist for Oh gosh, uh, 500, no, 400 something dollars more than this. They're great reels. Uh, and I might get a dial that exists someday. I don't know. I have a sur tape, which I will discuss later. Uh, but this reel, the Luvius 2004 for ultralight fishing, this is a 2015 model. And what led me to get this was I purchased the same reel, but a 2012 model. Uh, almost five years ago, not quite five years ago. I've used this reel uh, all that time, catching thousands of fish on it. Uh, I have intentionally not done any maintenance to this reel except drag maintenance. I've done yearly drag maintenance on this reel. I have not done anything else to it. It's not been cleaned, it's not been serviced. Now, I don't normally do that. The reason I did that with this reel, I want to see how long this reel would last. I had heard before I started buying JDM reels, I'd heard, you know, they last longer, they're better, uh, smoother, uh, the machining on the gears is better, uh, so on and so forth. So I said, okay. Uh, I said, I want to see how long one will last. Now, to put this in perspective, uh, before I bought this reel, my top of the line reels I used was uh, Shimano Stratix. Uh, I think it probably would have been the FI model uh, the FJ and the FK, uh, or the FK wasn't out. The FJ might've been out, but I think I was using the model before that, the FI, whatever it was. And anyway, I was sending it back to Shimano, uh, three times a year for service. Uh, and after two years of using that reel, nonstop, four or five days a week, uh, it caught a bunch of fish. Uh, I sent it in to Shimano one day to be serviced, and I, I was sending it in on Shimano's recommendation. Uh, they asked me how often I fish. I told them three to four times, or uh, three to five days a week. They suggested I have my reel clean four times a year, serviced. And I said, well, I'm not going to do that. I think at that time it was 20 bucks to send it to Shimano, California, and uh, they they did a good job. They back. Well, anyway, uh, the reel had gotten so uh, sloppy and loose. It needed a new bale spring. Uh, it, it just was, uh, it was just, things had become loose. It was just, uh, but it had been through the ringer. I mean, it, 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 it caught a lot of fish. But uh, the last time I sent it off for service, Shimano sent me a new reel, uh, which was very nice of them to do. And I understand from talking to other people that have sent their reels in to be cleaned by Shimano, or cleaned in service, that Sometimes they just receive a new model of that reel at no cost to them, which that's, that's a good thing. But anyway, I decided uh, to get a JDM reel, one made in Japan. This is the one I bought. Uh, and after four and a half years, not having done anything to it, it's as smooth as the day I took it out of the box. Uh, I've caught thousands of fish with this reel. Uh, there, there's that just impressed me that, that this reel could still be as tight and as smooth as it is with no maintenance, no servicing. And I mean, I used it three to five days a week for 
at least four years anyway. And so I decided, okay, I want to get a uh, another reel. So I ordered a Daiwa Surtect, but of course that's quite a bit more expensive than this reel. But back, um, I guess a year and a half ago, my wife bought me a 2015 model Luvius, but it was a 2510 uh, PEH model, which would be used for bass fishing, which I rarely ever do. All I do is ultralight fish. It's, it's rare for me to pick up. I, I don't think I've caught a single fish with this. I don't even think it's spooled with line, but I don't even think I've taken it fishing. But anyway, I was so impressed with the new model of the, of the Luvius that I says, okay, I'm going to get me a 2015 model of the 2004H. I did, and I've um, tricked it up with bearings. I say tricked it up. This has uh, two metal bushings inside here. There's a metal bushing that was supporting the drag, which is inside here. I took that bushing out, replaced it with a bearing. There is, was a metal bushing on the spool support. I replaced that with a bearing. And also in the handle, there's two plastic bushings, which that's fine, but I replaced those two bushings with two bearings. So this reel now has a total of 13 bearings in it. Now bearings, just to say I got a reel with 10 bearings or 12 bearings or 500 bearings, whatever, by itself, that doesn't mean a lot. But in one of these Japanese-made reels, uh, the more bearings uh, you're getting, the better uh, it holds the reel together. The, the more precise uh, the reel will be, the smoother it will be. Uh, that's why when you look at their flagship line, the ex Exist reel, uh, I forget how many bearings are in it, but I think it's 13, something like that. Um, but anyway, uh, this reel weighs uh, 6.458 ounces, I believe it is. Line retrieve on this reel is 29.7 inches for one turn of the handle. This is a 5.6 to 1 gear ratio. This is their, what they call their high speed model, the H model. Uh, the other model, the regular model, non high speed model of this, has a gear ratio of 4.8 to 1 and takes in 25.4 inches per handle turn. Uh, I prefer the, the, the high speed model of this. It's their version of high speed model anyway. Although, uh, you get one of these reels if you want to really, really float a crappie jig a long time, uh, meaning uh, to work it in the water real slow, you, you know, a, a low speed version of one of these reels would, would work out pretty good. It has an ABS spool that has a metal coating of uh, titanium oxide, and that's to save weight. It has a Zion body, which is a composite material very similar to what uh, Shimano uses on their CI4, or that's what I found out anyway. Anyway, it's a composite material to save weight. Uh, this has mag seal technology. Now, what that is, the rotor in this reel has a magnetic oil around the workings inside the rotor that's under under here. That oil with the magnetic properties forms a barrier that from material I've read said can keep out particles as small as a virus. Well that's uh, that's pretty darn small, but the bottom line it keeps out water and dust and you're able to use this reel much longer without having to worry about water intrusion, dust, debris. And I have found that with this reel that, that seems to be the case. I mean there's no way you can reason reel as much as I have this one in, in a five year period and uh, uh, it still be smooth like the day it come out of the box. I mean, that's to me just fantastic. So I was pretty much sold on it. And uh, this winter, this reel is going off for service along with another reel or two. Uh, now, about servicing these reels. Uh, Daiwa will not service a reel, or Daiwa USA will not service a reel that was bought in Japan. Even though they sell the Lubies in the States, 
and Daiwa can work on them, they won't service a Japanese domestic market real. Don't ask me why. I, I don't know why. And I say this, uh, the last time I checked, was, which was a couple of years back, they would not, and I don't think they've changed. But anyway, there's plenty of uh, real guys around the U.S. that are certified by Daiwa to replace that oil. And you don't have to have it serviced by a, a Daiwa certified guy. They can just, uh, when they take it apart to clean it, it will just stop, be put back together with the uh, mag seal oil. Uh, just use regular oil. Real work fine. You just have to have more. Uh, you have to go to your two, three to four times cleaning a year, depending on how much you fish. Uh, most folks, uh, I think with these reels, I'm just going to go with a year, uh, which I, I think is going to be fine on these mag sealed reels. Um, this has the auto tournament drag. Uh, and without getting into what Diva's marketing is on this, about how it's able to self-adjust from the initial pull, I don't know about that. I know that in the drag, uh, top itself here, there's uh, some wave springs in there. I, I think it's three or four of them. And so that gives you, uh, this is virtually the same drag that's only Diva exists. It's a smooth drag. I mean, it's it's silky smooth. I've never lost a fish on account of the drag on this reel. It's just a fantastic reel. Uh, I'm going to get, uh, like I said, this is six six point four five eight ounces. Uh, the two rods I use, the extra ultralight and the super ultralight, is coming. I'm going to order one of these uh, in the one thousand three series, which weighs ten grams less than this one. It's a little bit smaller which I think will just balance better with those two rods. But the bottom line of this, this video, uh, if someone is interested in getting into uh, buying a Japanese reel, the first thing you want to do is buy one made in Japan. Uh, the second thing is, the only place I buy my reels is Digitaka. Uh, they have free shipping, uh, very reputable company, I've never had any issues with them at all, uh, and they have the cheapest reels I've found anywhere out of Japan, uh, bar none. If someone knows of another uh, Japanese web store that sells them cheaper than Digitaka, I'd like to know because I'd like to be buying from them. Uh, they're just great people to deal with. Uh, you want, if you wanted to get into this, this reel, in my opinion, uh, for the money, it cannot be beat. It's just, you know, at 200, uh, we've checked the pricing here today. Uh, today, right now, at this time, if you ordered it, you'd have to pay $227.02, plus add in six or seven dollars that PayPal adds on for their cut of money. So you're, you're talking about $234 for a reel that's probably going to last you a lifetime. If you're a weekend only fisherman, meaning two days a week, a few hours a day, you'll hand this reel down to your children or your grandchildren. Uh, if you are a fisherman who fishes a lot, uh, and I'm talking three to five days a week, or three to seven days a week, uh, I would think you'd want a reel like this. It will hold up. Uh, it's it's not going to let you down. Uh, just just a fantastic reel. Anyway, folks, if you uh, like the video, uh, I appreciate you giving me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, appreciate you subscribe. And let me say too, I appreciate all of y'all who have uh, left comments. Uh, I appreciate the ones watching. Appreciate the uh, ones who subscribe. Uh, I just wanted to create a channel to put out some information. Uh, about the type of fishing I do, ultralight angling, uh, and fishing with the JDM gear. Uh, and I've said before, uh, you don't need JDM gear to go out and catch fish. You can catch fish with anything. You can catch fish with a cane pole and some uh, line and a bobber and a hook and some crickets. That's it. But I love fishing with the stuff, and I just was trying to create a channel that could help people navigate the waters when they go to buy this because there's... You can find some reviews 
on YouTube. Uh, you can find a whole lot of reviews about Japanese fishing gear on YouTube in Japanese and Russian, but of course, we, none of us, most of us don't speak Japanese and Russian. Uh, and believe me, I have watched a lot of those videos uh, to try to get some information. So I thought I would just, uh, as part of my channel, uh, give this out, uh, this information, hoping to help you out. And uh, if you uh, think about buying one of these, make sure you uh, check out digitaka.com. Great website, great place to buy on the up and up. Uh, and until then, so live them all. And as I always like to say, life is good.